Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry by Dr. Tejas Shah. Today we will see about the important biomolecule that is glutathione. It is also called a redox buffer. So let us first see some of the key points regarding glutathione. So it is called a tripeptide also called pseudopeptide. Why it is called pseudopeptide the reason we will see later on. It is made up of three amino acids that is glutamic acid, cysteine and glycine. The sequence is L-gamma-glutamyl, L-cysteinyl, glycine. It is present at high levels, approximately 5 millimolar in animal cells. It is abbreviated as capital GSH, that is the reduced thiol form. Its significant part is sulfhydryl group of cysteine. It is found in all mammalian cells and it serves as a redox buffer regulating the redox state of cell. So first we see the synthesis of glutam glutathione. So first glutamate is activated with the help of ATP and then it combines with the amino group of cysteine with the help of synthetase enzyme to form gamma glutamyl cysteine. Then this gamma glutamyl cysteine further activated with the help of ATP and then it's combined with the third amino acid that is glycine with the help of enzyme synthetase and there is formation of gamma glutamyl cysteinyl glycine that is called glutathione. Here you can see that is sulfhydryl group. So when it is synthesized, it is called a reduced glutathione. And here the important reason is usually the peptide bond formation, the carboxyl group of alpha carbon takes part into the peptide bond formation. But here in the glutathione, the gamma, carb gamma carboxyl group it takes part into the peptide bond formation and that's why glutathione is called a pseudopeptide. Okay. Next we'll see some of the forms of So first form when the glutathione is synthesized that is called the reduced glutathione form that is GSH. Here you can see the sulfhydryl group. And another form is the oxidized glutathione form where the two glutathione molecule is linked with the disulfide bond. And this is the reaction by which the reduced form and the oxidized forms are interconvertible. So the forward reaction from reduced to oxidized form is catalyzed by the enzyme glutathione peroxidase. It contains the selenium in the form of selenocysteine in its active site. And the reverse reaction that is oxidized form to the reduced form is catalyzed by the glutathione reductase which utilize the NADPH. So ratio of reduced to oxidized form in most cell is greater than 500 which is compromised when there is oxidative stress. So now let's discuss about some of the important metabolic functions of glutathione. So first important function that glutathione maintains red blood cells membrane integrity. So the erythrocytes mainly receives its energy by the important pathway called the glycolysis and in the erythrocytes there is frequent free radical generation in the form of oxidative stress. So there is formation of the free radicals in the red blood cells. So one example is hydrogen peroxide is reduced with the help of reduced glutathione and it is reduced to the water. So reduced glutathione is converted to the oxidized form. So for regeneration of the oxidized form to the reduced glutathione form, the NADPH is required and with the help of enzyme glutathione reductase, the oxidized form is converted to the reduced form. And this NADPH is provided by the pathway hexose monophosphate shunt pathway. Okay. And is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. So by these reactions, the free radicals gets removed from the erythrocyte. So there is how the membrane integrity is maintained. But when there is absence of this enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, so no NADPH is formed. So it does not available for conversion of this oxidized form into the reduced form. So that will hamper the membrane integrity and lead to the hemolysis. So now let us see under the flow chart. So when there is mutation in the gene for glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, so when there is deficiency of G6PD enzyme, there is decreased activity of the enzyme. 
so level of NADPH is decreased so there is decreased regeneration of the reduced form of glutathione from oxidized, oxidized form by the glutathione reductase which mainly utilize the NADPH so oxidation is level of reduced glutathione form and increased levels of the intracellular oxidants for example superoxide of sulfide group of hemoglobin which forms the hens bodies here you can see like this hens bodies are formed and along with the membrane proteins so altering the membrane structure and increasing the susceptibility to ingestion by the macrophage it will disrupt the RBC membrane integrity and will lead to the hemolysis okay so this is how there is important clinical link attached with the glutathione next important function is the absorption of the amino acids that is called myester cycle or gamma glutamyl cycle so this cycle we have already understand understood during the digestion absorption of the amino acids this is the link for the video regarding the digestion absorption of the amino acid i will also provide this link in the description also but here important thing is to note it down is the amino acid which is to the glutathione the enzyme is gamma glutamyl transferase that is ggt this enzyme is present in the plasma membrane of renal tubular cells and bile ductule cells and in the endoplasmic reticulum of the hepatocytes so its estimation gamma glutamyl transferase estimation is very important in hepatobiliary diseases and alcoholic liver diseases third important function of glutathione is keep the enzyme in at its active state some of the enzymes contain the sulfhydryl group in their active site and they only become active when the sulfhydryl groups are in the reduced state so to keep this sulfhydryl group in a reduced state the reduced glutathione is very important so here you can see the inactive enzyme where there is oxidized form it is reduced so as to enzyme become active so there are various reactions where the reduced glutathione keeps the enzyme in its active state fourth important function is the mat hemoglobin to the hemoglobin conversion so glutathione is necessary for the reduction of the mat hemoglobin to the normal hemoglobin this is important as the mat hemoglobin where the iron is in the ferric state is unable to carry the oxygen that is oxygen transport so its conversion to the normal hemoglobin is very important so this is the reaction the mat hemoglobin where the iron is in the ferric state with the help of the reduced glutathione it is converted back to the ferrous state so that is how this is very important and fifth important function of glutathione is conjugation for detoxification reactions glutathione helps to detoxify several compounds by transferring the cysteinyl group with the help of the transferase enzyme so mainly they are under the phase 2 detoxification reactions so these are the example of some of the compounds need to be detoxified like organophosphorin organophosphorus compounds halogenated compounds nitrogenous substances like chlorodinitrobenzene heavy metals and drug metabolism so we see the steps so glutathione combined with the compound which needs to be detoxified so initially with the help of glutathione as transferase the compound combines with the cysteinyl group of the glutathione and then next step is the catalyzed by the peptidase where there is removal of all the three amino acid but here you can see cysteinyl combined with the compound needs to be detoxified and the third step we catalyze by the acetylase enzyme and it is converted to excretable form so that is how the compound is detoxified okay but glutathione as transfer is an important almost found in all the tissues so these are my references for this presentations thank you all like share and subscribe to my channel also click the bell button to get all the notifications thank you all